Some dollars. people capture a Bigfoot, and other people get captured by a Bigfoot. 1924, Albert Ostman. He was looking for gold in Canada, British Columbia. He was sleeping, and he'd wake up, and he'd find out that some of his supplies were missing. Someone was messing with his things, so he started sleeping with a rifle, right? He's looking for gold out there in the wilderness, him and his sleeping bag, until one night a Bigfoot came along, grabbed his sleeping bag, and dragged him away in it, just like Jason Voorhees. Right? He wakes up. The next day, they, they went for hours, it felt like, is what he said, just being dragged in the sleeping bag, which would be horrifying. I'd be shooting through the bag, personally. If you had your gun. Yeah. He you sleeping with your gun. Why, why didn't you use the gun? He could have been wrapped up in it. I don't know. Anyway, so he gets he gets captured. He wakes up, and he's with a family of Bigfoots. It's a mom. It's a dad. It's two adorable little foot babies. Two little feet. Babies? Little baby feet. Yeah. They were scared. The mom was a little annoyed, but they studied him for six days. He was out there in the woods. And uh, he said he wasn't really, he didn't feel threatened. It was a little weird, but he felt like, you know, okay, this is chill. I'm just going to relax. And So was he like their pet? It, so, it sounds like it sounds like a Bigfoot found him was like, this is a cute pet for my kids. Yeah. To teach them responsibility. Everybody needs a pet. Elbert. Uh, he starts chewing tobacco. Oh, where did he get the tobacco? From? He just had tobacco. He just like in his supplies. So he just had it and like and didn't do it for a week and then just started. It's all in a sleep bag. I think weird <laughs> thing for the story. But all right, there's got to be something more to it. Daddy Bigfoot grabs it. He chews it. He just swallows all of the tobacco. Oh, that's not good. No, he starts choking. Albert had made some coffee too because it was morning time. He just had all this stuff inside. That's of the his part that I just realized inside. doesn't. <laughs> make. I got I got dragged away in my sleeping bag, and also I had my truck in my sleeping bag and all of my stuff. So he's making coffee, and the Bigfoot's freaking out. He's choking on this tobacco, and then he grabs the coffee that Albert had and drinks it, and then fucking freaks the fuck out because he does not like coffee. He runs for the the, the water. And then the mama Bigfoot is displeased, obviously, so he shoots his rifle over the mom's head and then just sprints off. 33 years later, he tells his story when he feels it's safe. 33 years he waits because he thinks the Bigfoot's still coming after him? No, because he didn't want to be ridiculed by pricks like you. So, ladies and gentlemen, one thing we can learn from this story from Mr. Elbert from British Columbia, Canada... Is always sleep with your coffee. Always sleep with your coffee because coffee is the only thing to repel a Bigfoot. So in case you're ever attacked by a Bigfoot, <laughs> here's what you can do. Step one, tear open your coffee bag. Step two, open your coffee bag. Step three. How dumb do you think our audience is? Pull the knife out. <laughs> what the fuck? From your coffee bag. <laughs> Step four, stab wildly until the Bigfoot is bleeding in front of his children. And no longer moving. Step five, start masturbating. Thanks, I Andrew, for that. Next story is uh, the case of Nancy Hoggart. I think I'm saying that right. I never know what these people's names, and I don't give a shit. Nancy Hoggart. Okay. Nancy. I, I actually have no idea. I'm just being a dick. Nancy <laughs> Hogface was uh, a marijuana farmer. And she was in a relationship with Bigfoot since 2008. <gasps> That's crazy. Now, I heard right. about this story. She lives out in Belfair, Washington. So she was farming uh, her marijuanas at the time when Bigfoot appeared, and he was eating all the buds off the plants, right? So she said, and this is a quote, she said, at first I wanted to run because he's very scary, but I thought he meet, might eat all of my marijuana plants. And that's how I used to make a living. I pointed the shotgun at him, and he put his hands up, scared. Apparently, he's been robbed before. That's when I looked down and noticed he had a huge erection between his legs. <laughs> I hadn't got any in a while, and well, from there, it somehow turned into an adult movie. I didn't know if he started it or I did. He did me from behind, which felt great. Uh, she said she blossomed from sex partners to deep love, and he's so sweet and caring, she says. He brings me flowers and mushrooms, holds my hand while we stargaze. The only downside is that he doesn't speak English. I've taught him how to say my name, but it's kind of garbled. He mispronounces it Nancy. Sounds kind of fancy. Nancy, that's funny. Nancy. She wants a baby with Bigfoot. She calls him John. She has named him John, which is kind of weird because you're John Bigfoot putting yourself in the role of a prostitute, really. And that's your John. Uh, well, you can well, name him anything. She's not charging Bigfoot. 
Once I'm pregnant, Bigfoot, or John as I call him, and I are going to settle down and live a quiet domesticated life in my house. He loves living in the forest, but I'm sick of long distance. <laughs> I'm sick of this long distance relationship. Yeah. I have to commute for three hours to be with my man. It's getting old and gas is expensive. She wants to change her name legally to Nancy Bigfoot. Jesus Christ. What is that? Um, you know what? Fucking letter. I'm going to demonstrate what it must have been like from Nancy's point of view. Jesus Christ. And uh, this was most of this was t- Jesus Christ. What the fuck, dude? Stop it. Oh, stop it. What, what the fuck are you doing now? Nancy Hogger saw the Bigfoot for the first time. Nancy was down on her knees. Bigfoot had his glowing and erection. So she was all like, oh, hey, John. And he's all like, hey, Nancy. Stop it. All right, fine, fine. All right. Well, you get I mean, it. Ten foot monster has a giant huge dick. 